UFC featherweight division fight. All right, so here we go. The weight and the height gives way to the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up with him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Misses with that punch. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, nice. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Oh, my goodness, what a kick. <laughs> Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Oh, and there he goes working on it. Head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Right hand punch the clinch. That was landed clean. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Big kick land. Ooh, found a home for that knee. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Entertaining scraps so far. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, here we go with round two. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see... Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He went high on that one. Outstanding knee to the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Yeah. 
Ooh, head kick lands, and he's hurt. Oh, brutal knee to the body. Just over three. Oh, man, look at that. Kick turn. A nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. He bottom fighter move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Ground and pound strike there now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Now he's gonna try to attack Kimura here. And oh! He's gonna get the turn on the elbow, and he's gonna chase the submission finish. got to admire the focus and the commitment to getting the finish. You could tell he was in hot pursuit of that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it, so he sets it up beautifully, lets it materialize almost organically, and ultimately gets the desired result. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution.